Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll learn how to make crushed objects with soft body simulation in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. Firstly, download the barrel model as Blender file. I will share the download link in the description. Let's delete the default cube, and import the barrel model into Blender. We have already learned how to import a object which in Blender file to another Blender file. If you want, you can watch this tutorial before going on. Go to File menu, Append, find the Blender file we have just downloaded. Select the file, and click on the Append button. Go to Object folder, choose the barrel object, and click on Append button. Hit the S key and scale up the barrel little bit. Press Ctrl A, and apply the scale transform. We can see the textures if we switch to material preview mode. Now, let's add floor. Press Shift A and add a plane. Let's determine a perspective view. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 and align the camera to view. Now, we can scale up the plane according to this camera perspective. Go to Edit Mode, select this edge of the plane, and extrude on the Z axis. Select the edge, press Ctrl B to bevel edge. Set the segments number to 12. Go back to Object Mode, right click and make shade smooth. Now, let's add Crusher. Press Shift A and add a cylinder. Press Numpad 1 and go to Front View. Hit the S key, then Z key and scale down the cylinder on the Z axis. Move up the cylinder on the Z axis little bit. Press Tab key and go to Edit Mode. Select the top face of the cylinder. Hit the I key and inset the face. Press E key and extrude the face. Go back to Object Mode. Right click and make shade smooth. To fix shading problem, click on the Object Data Properties menu, go to Normals section, and enable the Auto Smooth. Let's animate the crusher now. Go to Front View. Go to Frame 1 in the Timeline Editor, then, go over 3D Viewport, hit the I key and add a Location keyframe. Then, go to Frame 40. Move the crusher down on the Z axis so that crush the barrel. Hit the I key again, and add a Location keyframe. Go to Frame 50, and add a Location keyframe more. So, the crusher remains stable between frame 40 and 50. Select the first keyframe, right-click and duplicate the keyframe. Move the keyframe to frame 90. So, the crusher go back to its first position. Let's play the animation. There we go. Now, it is time to add soft body physics for the barrel. Before adding soft body physics, let's add extra geometry for the barrel. It will allow the barrel bends easily. Select the barrel and go to Edit Mode. Go over the barrel, press Ctrl R, scroll up the mouse wheel, and add loop cuts enough. Go back to Object Mode again. Click on the Physics Properties tab, and add Soft Body Physics for the barrel. Disable the Goal section, and be sure that the Edges option is enabled. In this section, we are going to make some settings. When we enable the Edges option, it allows the edges in a mesh object to act like springs. The pull value is basically the amount of force that it takes to stretch the object. A low value means that the object is very elastic. High value means that the object is stiffer. The barrel is not elastic, and it has high resistance to stretching. So, we need to set the pull value to highest value. But the soft body simulation tends to get unstable if you use a value of 0.999, 
so you should lower this value a bit if that happens. Let's set this value 0.95. The push value basically is opposite to pull value. It determines how much the soft body resists the compression. Low values for fabric, high values for inflated objects and stiff material. Let's set the push value to 0.9. The dampening value controls motion of the simulation. High values dampen the push and pull effect and calm down the mesh. Let's set the damp value to 20. Plasticity value allows you to deform the mesh permanently. We want the barrel is deformed permanently after crushing. So, let's set the plasticity value all the way up to 100. The bending value controls how much the mesh resists bending. High values allows the mesh is more stiff. Let's set the bending value to 8. Let's enable the self-collision option. If this option enabled, Blender will prevent the soft body from intersecting with itself. Now, let's go to Solver section and set the minimum step size to 50. This will just help the simulation works a little bit better. Finally, let's add collision physics for the floor and the crusher. Select the crusher, go to Physic tab, and add collision physic. Set the damping value to 0.8. Select the floor, and add collision physic in the same way. Let's select the barrel, and move up the barrel above the floor a little bit. Now, it is time to bake simulation. Let's go to the cache section. I want the simulation start at frame 24. In this frame, the crusher not contact with the barrel yet. So, it will allow the barrel remain stable till frame 24. Let's set the final frame of the simulation to 40. Also, set the final frame of the animation to 100. Now, the simulation ready to bake. Let's click on the bake button and wait for the baking process. The baking process has done. Let's play the simulation. There we go. The simulation works well. But, bended barrel doesn't look smooth shading. To fix this problem, go to modifier tab, and add subdivision surface modifier for the barrel. Set the subdivision level to 2 for viewport and render. There we go. It is time to render. Firstly, let's switch to material preview mode, and add material for the crusher. Go to material properties tab. Add a new material for the crusher. Set the base color to light gray, and set the metallic value all the way up to 1. We can decrease the roughness value a little bit. Select the floor, add a new material. Let's switch to render preview mode. Click on the render properties tab, and be sure you use cycles render engine. Let's select the point lamp, and set the power to 3000 watt. Move the lamp and adjust the proper angle. Press numpad 0, and switch to camera perspective. Click on the output properties tab, and set the resolution to 1080 pixel. Go to output section, and choose the output file path. Set the file format as PNG. Now, it is ready to render. We can render certain frame. For example, let's go to frame 75. Go to render menu, and click on the render image. There we go. It looks nice. Now, let's render the simulation. I am gonna switch to EV render engine. Because it is faster for animation render. Enable the ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. Set the number of samples to 64 for quicker render. Click on the output properties tab, and set the file format to MPEG. Set the container to MPEG4, and render animation. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.